Hey, welcome back to Tiny House and Off Grid Resources. Today, I'm in the garden and I'm going to be combining the nicest in homegrown produce with the basics of nuclear fission. Come and join me and enjoy this innovative style of cooking. I plant random stuff all around the place at home. I've got different posies, some stuff I want to ripen early, so I plant it in full sun. But to extend the growing season, I plant things in shady areas as well. So I end up with a longer season for my produce. These are about uh, three weeks behind the other ones. Um, Oops. So that's enough for the omelette I'm making. Wait till you see the trick I've got up my sleeve on this fine sunny day. <clears throat> Out here, in the full sun, for the last few hours, I've had this frying pan heating up and I'm going to uh, see if I can cook an omelette using just the heat of the sun. We've had some crazy hot days over the last week or so, but uh, today we're showing 45 degrees outside, 45.4, that is the hottest yet. So, uh, let's have a look, see what that is in American measurements. It's 114 degrees. It's fairly warm. Living in a tiny house means that um, most of the things you use in your kitchen have to do more than one job. So instead of having mixing bowls, I use saucepans, which, what's the difference? It's a mixing bowl with a handle on the side. It works perfectly, and of course it saves on storage space. <laughs> Get back in there. I'll be really lazy. I should slice the tomatoes, but they're so small I hardly need it. Seeing as the grater's on the bench, I might throw some cheese in as well. Mmm, cheese. I think the reason I'm still single is because... I haven't yet found a woman who would enjoy long romantic walks down the cheese aisle as much as I would. That'll do. Right. Let's go and see how hot that pan really is. Oh my god, hear that. That'll cook.
Now I should have organised something to hold the camera in. Um, 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 um. A table, here we go. That's it, that's what we need. Okay camera, you sit there and watch that cook. I'll go inside and get these dishes done. Okay, part of it's looking cooked right the way through, but just going to have to wait a wee while longer for the top part to get cooked. I've got to admit, the uh, not chopping the tomatoes wasn't the best idea I've ever had. I should have put the glass cover on right from the get-go. I didn't think of that, but if I'd found some way of holding the heat in, it would have cooked faster. But as it is, it's taken about 15 minutes using no power at all except for the heat from the sun. There we go. A novel little way of cooking. Perhaps it's something you could do with your kids just to let them know that um, there are alternatives in an emergency to heading down to the takeaways and fast food joints if you find you haven't got power. It's, it's a little undercooked, sorry I should have paid a little bit more attention to the heat. I wouldn't serve it to the presidential party but Oh, well hang on, the presidential party have recently been eating burgers and chips, haven't they? Burgers and fries, sorry. Um, yeah, but I'd certainly eat that myself. In fact, I'm going to do just that right now. Mm -mm -mm. Cheesy! I'll leave the tomatoes because we all know that nothing holds its heat like a hot tomato. I'll save those till last. Well, bon appetit. You've been watching Tiny House and Off Grid Resources. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing. The button's right down below.